Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, before we start, if you hear any random noises, that is my boyfriend, he is in the room again. Hi. Uh, that's him saying hi. Um, he managed to beat Benji kazooie for those that are interested, he is now playing South Park. Um, this video is going to be a haul. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, I was in Poland last week um, and I am on a no buy, but there is one rule where if I'm out of the country, then I'm allowed to buy things that in this country would go against my no buy. Um, so when I go away, I tend to go a little bit crazy. Um, and this is just a, an accumulation of everything that I bought over the course of the holiday. So the first thing that I got while I was out there is actually a necessity. Um, I got there and I realized that I'd forgotten to bring my deodorant with me and I couldn't go the whole week without a deodorant. Um, I did try using my boyfriend's spray, but that wasn't working out for me. Um, so I went to the drugstore and I found um, a deodorant. This is the Happy Duo Orange Blossom deodorant. But the reason I picked this one is because it's um, not got any aluminum in it and it's paraben free and sulfate free as well. Um, I, so I have been using it, as you can see there's a little bit left there, so I used it on holiday and I've continued using it since I've been back. But it's it's not that great at long lasting, so I wouldn't wear it to work. Um, so now I'm back in this country, I'm wearing my regular one during the week, and this one just at the weekends when I'm around the house, because if it runs out, I can just quickly top up again. Uh, but that's that's that. And the next thing I got from the drugstore are these lip balms. Um, just a little background story. So I have a thing about weird flavoured lip balms. Um, in this country, we don't really get the crazy flavours. We just get the standard fruits or mints or, you know, strawberry or mixed berry. Or we don't get anything exciting like cookie dough or bubble gum or anything like that. Um, so whenever I see them, I tend to pick them up. And these four fall into that category. Um, so this pink one is chewing gum flavoured or bubble gum flavoured. Um, I have used them all uh, just because I wanted to try them out and see how they are. They are very nice and moisturising so I'm happy with that. This one's coconut ice. Um, it's kind of got a pina colada scent to it. This one is chocolate milk. And this one is panna cotta flavour. So I'm really happy with those. So while I was looking at the lip balms, I noticed that they had some um, sheet masks up on their display. Um, so I got four of these sheet masks. There's blueberry collagen, which is good for hydrating, vitalizing and purifying. The avocado collagen, which is nourishing, refreshing, vitalizing. The coconut essence, which is relaxing, softening and hydrating and the honey essence, which is nourishing, hydrating, and refreshing. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying those. Um, they're just the standard 20 minute sheet mask, um, and it is in Korean on the back, so it's not a Polish thing. Um, so, yep, got those. And I also picked up, because I'd not seen these before, these are the Seventh Heaven charcoal pore strips. I know Viore do the pore strips, and you can get them at Sephora now as well. But I'd never seen Seventh Heaven, Seventh Heaven ones, so I picked these up. They're okay, I used one while I was away and it didn't really do a lot, but I'll keep trying and maybe I'll get them to work for me. Um, I just wanted to try and see how they were really. I don't normally typically use this sort of product, but I thought I'd give it a go. I've got some uh, open pores on my nose area, so just might as well try it. If I don't get anything out of it, then it would be like I'd never used it. Um, but yeah. Um, I also got these, which I'm really, really happy with. Um, so they are micellar waters, and they were seven zloty, which is the Polish currency, um, and that works out about two pounds each, cheaper than two pounds each. Um, and this one is aloe vera, and this one is oat. So, and I, I use them... Uh, while I was away, just to see, just as a wipe across my face, take off any oil, just to see how it was. And it was quite nice, it was like a standard um, micellar water, except it didn't, um, it cleaned, 
but my skin felt really good afterwards, like soft, so I'm really happy with that. And next to the drugstore where I got those was a Sephora, and we don't have Sephora in this country, so I was really, really excited. So I went in, and it was a smaller store, so there wasn't much there, and I do have a list of things specifically that from Sephora that I want to get and they didn't have any of those things um, but they did have this and when we went to the States my friend said that the avocado eye masks were really really good so I just got this to try really um, yeah uh, I like the under eye masks um, I tend to get really dehydrated underneath and it where it's dehydrated the fine lines do stand out um, so give that a go see if it does anything for me if it does um, next time I'm in the States or um, I might do an order at Sephora when I'm not on my no-buy, um, I'll get a couple of these for me to have. So after we did that bit of shopping, um, we did a few touristy things and after the touristy things we actually found a, a mall um, and this mall was huge, it was like across three floors but it was really wide as well so there were loads of shops there. Um, so so many shops that you wouldn't, you know, it was confusing which clothes shops do I go in? I don't know, there's too many of them, there was too much choice um, but there were some makeup shops which really really intrigued me um, again, especially seeing as I can't get this stuff in the UK um, so the first thing we did was we went back into the you know, the drugstore that we went in before, it was the same brand um, and I picked up this, um, it's the Lime Mint Coconut uh, first I saw this in a body spray and then like a splash and I was like I really want a body lotion and then I found the shower gel and I was like I really want a body lotion and they don't have it um, and then I was digging through the thing I don't know what made me look but I found the body lotion and it was like the exact same packaging as the shower gel exact same color exact same packaging exact same pictures um, but it, it just said shower gel here um, instead of body lotion so I don't know what made me check there um, but I found the body lotion and I was really really happy about that and for the rest of the day I was like I smell like lime and mint, I smell like lime and mint and then on our way round um, we were just seeing what else they had I found this and this is huge, I know it is huge but they didn't have a smaller one, we did look um, this is the Kalos Cosmetics Banana Multivitamin Shampoo um, and it smells Incredible. I want to smell it now. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like the, like, it's artificial banana, don't get me wrong, but it smells so good. Like, the foam banana sweets, or um, my boyfriend compared it to banana flavoured uh, medicine. Um, so, but yeah, it smells really, really good. And it was really good for my hair as well, it cleaned really well and it left my hair really soft so I'm happy that I got that and this was only 10 zloty so that was about £2.50 so really happy about that okay so then after that shop I found another Sephora which I was really upset about because how come they have two and we don't get any? sad face anyway um, and I saw this um, this is the stuff that you put around your cuticles and it stops um, and you can peel it off and you, you have like a mess free nail and I've seen this everywhere but I've not actually seen it like in a physical thing I've not actually been able to buy it so as soon as I saw it I was like I'm having that um, it was a tad expensive um, but it is Sephora so I was expecting it to you know I wasn't expecting it to be cheap um, but I've not tried this yet I'm really really looking forward to trying this I'm tempted to just do some nail art and play around just so that I can try this um, but maybe not considering it was expensive, but yeah. So I came out of there and I saw Inglot and I was like, oh my god, they have Inglot here as well. It was kind of a little bit of a big deal, like all the shops that they had, I don't have access to or don't have easy access to. So I was just kind of in my element and going a little bit crazy. Um, so in Inglot, I did pick up some eyeshadows. You kind of have to, really. Um, and... I picked the four, not realising how cheap they actually were, and now I wish I'd bought more. They did have them at the airport after I decided I wish I'd bought more, um, but the ones at the airport weren't the colours that I wanted or colours that 
appealed to me so I didn't actually pick up any more but if I if I went again or if I had access to it again I'd definitely pick up a lot more um, so this whole thing was 79 Zloty which is it works out about 25 to 30 pounds um, and that's the palette and the four eyeshadows so that was really really good um, so I will swatch these for you um, this first one here I do have these written down can you hear his game? sorry if you can this video is an absolute disaster I cannot find anything where I want it okay so I kept the boxes so that I could tell you what the colors were um, and this green one is number 17 and that's the swatch of it there camera's not picking it up all that well uh, I did have to build it a little bit but the, the pigment is there it's just the camera's not picking it up all that well um, this blue one is number 33 and that's the swatch of it there I really love that colour um, this orangey browny colour is kind of reminiscent of Fireball by Urban Decay that's that colour there um, I mean it looks more orange on camera but it as the swatch it is a pinky orange um, and this last one is just kind of a bronzy colour and that's the swatch of it there um, so the bronzy one was 154 and the orangey one was 407 um, so I'm really happy with those I've not played around with them on my eyes just yet um, I'm looking for the right uh, occasion and style that I'm looking for to fit these colours in. I don't want to waste the uh, bronzy colour, this one here, you know, on a, on a day to day considering I can't get these easily. Um, so I will save them for and do good looks with them rather than everyday looks. Um, so the lady at the counter, she was like, oh, let me upsell you all the things, everything. And in the background, my mum's going, what's that? And my boyfriend's telling her what the lady is offering me. Seriously, no word of a lie. That was actually happening. Um, and when I said no to everything, because just because it didn't appeal to me, um, she gave me this free tinted cream beautifier sachet. Um, I don't know if this comes in different shades. I don't know anything about this product. So it'd just be a case of opening it up and trying it and seeing what happens. But... I mean, it was free, so it's always nice to get free stuff, right? Okay, so that's everything I bought. Um, and then we were leaving the hotel, and the guy at the counter was like, Oh, I have gifts for you. And I was like, Gifts? Tell me about these gifts. Um, and we got one per person, but some people didn't want them. My brother specifically didn't want his, so I ended up with his. And then my mum put hers in my bag um, so and we thought to give it back so when I when we got home we realized we had four of these things um, but I will distribute them out to different people you know I'll give my mum's one back to her and uh, my brother's one is going to my boyfriend's mum and these are the um, Kinga bath salts in green tea um, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of the brand but it comes from the salt mines that we uh, we, w we went on a trip to the salt mines and it comes from the salt mines that we were actually in um, and this was just our gift from the hotel I've got two here uh, one's in the bathroom and one's packed away to go to my boyfriend's mum um, and these are in the scent green tea I'm not sure if I said that already but they smell really really good kind of spa like and it's really really nice and fresh and very good for spring and summer when the weather gets warmer and you've got that fresh spa scent uh, in your bathroom really nice um, 
So yeah, those that's those from the hotel. Um, I did get some books as well uh, while I was out there. I got some books at the airport on my way out there. Um, and I got uh, a, two books when we were at Auschwitz. Um, so at the airport, I got Three Sisters, Three Queens by Philippa Gregory. Um, I love Philippa Gregory books. I think she's amazing. And I love Tudor history. So I'm really looking forward to reading that. And I also got Miss You by Kate. Evelyn? I can't really read that font. Somebody tell me if I'm reading that wrong. Um, and this is just like a chick lit rom com type thing. Um, so, and I find that these are the best to read um, in terms of relaxing and not having to focus on anything. Um, the books that I got at Auschwitz, I got a, um, a memoir from an Auschwitz survivor, which my mum has. Um, and I also got this guide, um, which is basically a booklet of postcards of photos. Um, and the reason I picked that up is because my boyfriend's phone... I just dropped everything. I just, <laughs> just dropped everything. Yeah, I know that, but you just it <laughs> Okay, now I've tidied everything up. Um, as I was saying, my boyfriend's phone died while we were there. Um, because I don't know, it wasn't charging properly. I don't know if there was a power loss between the converter that we had, the European converter and the British converter. Um, but his phone wasn't charging right over, and mine would charge fine overnight, but his would take all day and only be at 30%. So, um, it did die while we were at Auschwitz and he was unable to take photos and he was really disappointed. Um, so I picked up that little booklet for him as a memoir because he wasn't able to take pictures um, and that's everything that I got while I was in Poland um, I hope you enjoyed this video I know it was a little bit ah, nothing is prepared and dropping things and craziness but that's kind of what you expect from my channel right okay so I will see you in the next video take care bye